Good evening, YouTubers. It's Amer34, and I am coming to you, I guess you could say a birthday haul. So it was my birthday on August 29th, and I have gotten some goodies from quite a few people, which was really sweet and really nice. So I just wanted to share with some of the cool things that I have gotten and a couple of handmade things that are just beyond phenomenal and I'm truly blessed to have people who love me this much. So let me get started with my friend Tina from work. She is amazing. She's a crafter herself. She is more of a um, card maker and um, loves to decorate for Christmas and stuff. But she always does stuff with her granddaughters. And she's just so creative. And she's a glitter fanatic. So I want to show you some of the things. Because some of the things are still hidden um but let me show you because i'm actually really excited so i am excited because she did get me these artist lofts little acrylic paints and i love them because the usually when i buy acrylic paints i usually buy them for paint pouring so this is nice because i can actually use this for other stuff other than my paint pouring and i love it and then i love these and i already took them out of the package because i did something that i don't normally do and i started putting stuff away but she got me a whole set of artist spatulas. Now, I had one. Well, I had the plastic set. And I'm not a real big fan of the plastic sets. I love the metal ones. And I just bought one. And she actually ordered me a whole set. And they're numbered. And they're all different shapes and sizes. And freaking just amazing. Amazing. And then... She got me all these little canvases. Actually, there's four. Hold on. I have it. And y'all, I still can't find my um, tripod. I wish I knew where it was. But these. Aren't those cool? Because I've actually done a paint pour on small canvases before and she saw it. So she went and got me four of the suckers. Which I absolutely love. And then she got me little like textured guys. Textured combs for painting. Which... I've always looked at them and I've picked them up and I put them back down and now I have them, which is freaking awesome. Now I have to show you because she watched my video with me and Piper in it, the last one, my haul video, and she heard Piper say, mom, look, Flamingo's your favorite. So guess what was up inside my present, which I have to tell you, she made me a homemade pinata and I'm going to show it to you guys because it's freaking awesome. But... She found me a tape dispenser. I already took it out of the package. Like I said, I already started putting stuff away, which I don't normally do. But she found me, of all things, a pink flamingo tape dispenser. Can you even believe that? That is freaking awesome. So, I'm going to show you my pinata. I'm going to move my phone, my camera up to show you because it's in its home and I don't want to take it out. I have to tell you. Everybody in my family wanted to break that sucker open so that they can get their hands on the goodies on the inside. I would not let them. And I'm so glad because she had a latch that she used to put the stuff in so I didn't have to break it. But she stuffed that sucker with Taco Bell hot sauce, which if anybody knows me, knows I am a Taco Bell hot sauce fanatic. And not the kind you get in the store, the kind you get at the restaurant. That's because that's the best kind. She put puff balls in there. She put candy up in there. She put my little pink guy up in there. She put, um, what else? She put an ink pad in there, which that's actually in my purse for whatever reason. And she put colored um, tags that you color. And it's just filled with all kinds of goodies. And it's killing my kids because I won't let them touch it. But look at that pinata. Let me move this. It's, oops artwork down it's in the shape of an a shape of an a and look she's got like my favorite sayings i don't know if y'all can read that but i say weird things like yay for shenane and you're so extra and you're the bestest in the westest that type of thing so she went around work asking everybody what are some of my sayings and then she typed them up and cut them out and put them on the side of the pinata you know what i'm gonna have to bring it down so hold on Okay, so I did bring it down. So like, yay for Shanene, you're the bestest in the westest. What's that one? That one is the you're so extra. And then, oh, you're the best in the west is that one. You're so extra. What's this one over here? 
Oh. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And then because I love and poor thing, she didn't know what to do. Because she wanted to know my favorite colors, which are odd colors, but brown, orange, and then I love like the lime green and pink. So she's trying to figure out how to incorporate all of that together. She goes, this is such a weird colors. And then she put this beautiful butterfly on there. And look at all of this. Look how awesome that is. And that sucker is just filled with goodies. And it's the letter A for Amers. Now, I have to tell you, that is one of the coolest things ever. And it's going to have to go back to its home. And all of that is from Miss Tina. Thank you, Tina. I loved everything. Loved everything. So that was from Miss Tina. I'm going to show you what Miss Charlene, and you all hear me talk about Charlene all the time. She's my friend. She's my bestie. She's my ride or die. And, oops, Charlene, you didn't see that. But the she made this little bucket for me, a purse, to hold my stuff in it. And she's also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So, I had told her that I wanted to get the spray bottles. So she got them for me for my birthday. Those. She also knows that I love inks. And I love gold ink. I love Heidi Shine ink. Gold. And there is no more. So she got me a gold ink. So that I can splatter. And this stuff. I don't know for, you know, non-stampin' up people. This stuff is freaking amazing. Hold on. Okay, so this is glue with fine tip. And I don't know if you can see in it how, like, loose it is. But this stuff has such a monster hold. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, you guys. It's insane. I'm, I'm all about adhesives. I mean... You see my adhesives? I've got so many in that big bottle way over there. Can you see it? And I have a drawer full of just tapes and I just adhesives. So she got me that because I really wanted it. And because she knows I'm a huge freaking... And I got to tape up my little person. I'm a little bit heartbroken about that. But I'm going to tape it and fix it because it's going up there with my pinata. But I'm a huge Halloween fan. And our Michaels is a very small Michaels. And... Here it is. It is September 4th, and we do not have our Halloween recollection set yet, or our Halloween Tim Holtz. None of our Halloween stuff. No paper pads or nothing yet. So she was in Santa Rosa, which is a neighboring city, and she got me these guys. Look at those. And she got me... Now, word stickers in this town is hard enough, but Halloween word stickers, come on. That's just, that's awesome. And it's two pages worth. Y'all can even see that. Because I'm like no good. Little baddie. I'm definitely a little baddie. That's for damn sure. Darn sure. Sorry, little kids, if y'all watching. No curse words, please. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm supposed to be canning right now. So shh, don't tell my husband I'm doing a video. And look at that. This one kind of reminds me of Silence of the Lambs a little bit. I don't know why, but it really kind of does. And that. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, dude, that guy is kind of freaky. Do y'all see him? Right there. The winged man. He is kind of freaky. Okay, so I got that. And then she made me the little purse. Oh, I have a paper pad too. <gasps> My paper. Ah, I almost forgot a few things. How dare I? So she also got me. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can you see it? A pineapple embossing plate. Because on top of loving flamingos, I love pineapple. Those are my two favorite is pineapple and flamingos. And that's what I got. Pineapple and flamingos. And I got my first Halloween paper pad. from Recollections. And this is from Miss Charlene. Thank you, Charlene! But hold on. Because I also got, because Charlene, like Aunt Barbara, and like Tina, is a card maker. 
and she made me this beautiful card and because I have about three or four pairs of the Cutter B scissors, that's what she made. She made a pair of Cutter B scissors to put up in there. <laughs> Which is just freaking awesome. And then it's Crafting Forever, Housework, Whatever, Happy Birthday. Love you, girl. Charlene. I love you too, Charlene. But isn't that just the cutest card? So I'm going to scrapbook that card. I'm also going to scrapbook the card she, she made for my little ones. And they're going to go in there. So thank you, Miss Charlene. And while we're showing handmade stuff, today I just received another card from Miss Aunt Barbara. Sorry about that, guys. But I could not get this card out of the envelope. So this one came from Aunt Barbara, who is also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if I can figure out how to link her channel below, I will try. I will try. Because she has beautiful tutorials on Stampin' Up! Um, boxes and stuff that she makes. So, and she made this one for me. Let's see if I can open it. I got this. Oh, I'm opening it up. I guess it would help if I had it the right way. Yep. There we go. Jeez, oh, Louise, oh. So, and she did this one. I love handmade cards. They're just awesome. So thank you, Aunt Barbara. Okay. So, and this is stuff. This one I bought for myself because, well, I've been wanting a label maker forever and a day. And Costco had them. And I bought this last weekend. It's really dusty, however. I just bought it last weekend, no. But for two full-size cartridges and this, a Brother label maker, it was only 20 bucks. So I had to buy myself you know, an early birthday present. And sorry, it's so dusty. My room gets a lot of dust. I don't even know why. But that one I bought myself. And then let's go into basically what my dad. Okay, so my dad um, sent me money for my birthday. He sends me money every year. So I was all excited because I was finally gonna buy my inks I've been waiting to buy these dang inks for a while just debating and debating and debating and because they're 60 bucks and I finally decided you know my dad sent me birthday money I'm gonna go ahead and buy these inks I was gonna spend $30 on these inks you want to know how much I spent on these inks it was like one of the best birthday presents ever it was $5.99 for these inks I spent a 50% coupon. I spent $3.28 on Dr. Martin's Bombay Ink. <laughs> so thank you, Chad, for the birthday money. Ah, so, because I only spent $3, I turned around and got myself Recollections um, Stamp Lock. So thank you, Dad, which I will call you and let you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I was able to pick up a couple of paper pads, which is fall, which I know you guys have already seen. If you guys watch um, Ramona, um, she always shows you what's new from Michael's and all the other stores. And that's how I knew about this one. So I got that one for six bucks because it was 70% off. This one because it was 70% off and it goes with the fall one. And then this one, because it's got kitchen and canning. And because I am a canner, and like I said, I am supposed to be canning right now. So, canning salsa. But I have that one. So, this was all from my dad. Thank you, dad, for the birthday money. I really appreciate it. This one I got because, well... This one wasn't worth birthday money, but it was the only one that they had. This one was not with birthday money, but it was 70% um, off. So I bought it last week. And it's because I have a little girl who just loves rainbows and stuff. And this is just a gorgeous paper pad. So I couldn't resist. Anything girly. I waited years to have my girl. So anything girly, I get Especially when I can get it for six bucks. So I have that. So then I also got 
I don't know if this one is a birthday haul. It's not really a birthday haul, but it came in right around all my birthday stuff came in. But I got these from AliExpress, and these were only like a dollar something for these packs of sequins. I'm not sure if you would call them sequins or like just shiny confetti. So, and I got three of them. And they're really nice size. I mean, look. If it's, I mean, that's a nice size. I mean, that's awesome. But I did get some more birthday stuff. So the night of my birthday, I did make an order at scrapbook.com. And it came in today. So I ordered it on Thursday night. And because of the holiday, it just came in today. Otherwise, it probably would have been here yesterday. But I have a fuse tool. And I always have to find random things to use to, you know, for the surface. And I did try using Charlene's Fuse Tool Mat, which was freaking awesome. And Scrapbook.com ran out of them for a while, and they finally got it back in. So I did order that, and I'm very excited. And I did order my white Dilution paint. I am a huge Dilution fan. And I love their sprays. I, I've got the paints, but I haven't used them yet. But I've used their sprays, and I use their sprays constantly. So I do have my white to add to the collection. I did buy a Tim Holtz craft pick. Not too fond of the color, but, you know, with all the little dies that I have, it will be easier to sit there and pop them out instead of sitting there fighting with it. And I know a while back I showed you guys the um, craft mat. That I got the really good deal from Amazon. Yeah, when you ink or you spray, it bleeds. So I actually did have to spend the money and get the Ranger Craft mat because my work surface will stay safe this way. Um, the other ones were really cheap and they are awesome. They're good for other messes like glues and whatnot, but for sprays and inks, not so much. So it, it's worth the money to get the Tim Holtz one or the Ranger one. So definitely do that. And last but not least, I got my scissors. So, and that was, I'm going to say that was all a birthday present from my husband, which he and my son made amazing homemade Chinese food for me for my dinner that night. And then the wonderful people that I work with made me Mexican sandwiches, which are bombosas, if I said it right, which is a chorizo and potato with um, queso. And we had a homemade um, tomatillo salsa with avocado. I don't know if you guys have ever had those. Those things are amazing. And I had to wait months for it. Because when my friend Claudia at work made them the first time, I said, I want those for my birthday. And because it is a lot of work, she does not make them often. And in fact, she told everybody we don't get them for another year. So for my birthday, she made sure that I had bambosas. So... Thank you, Claudia, because that was freaking amazing. That was those. If you guys have never tried those, you've got to look it up and you've got to make them because they're spectacular. I can't even say it enough. So that is it. That is my that is my birthday right there. And I thank you, everyone, for making it so awesome. And thank you, everybody, for everything. The birthday dinner the birthday lunch, the beautiful pinata, all the homemade cards. Thank you guys. It was truly, truly, truly awesome. And I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I will talk to you guys soon. And I did actually work, just so y'all know, when I went to Charlene's for our scrap weekend, we worked and I got some pages done. I think my album is almost done, so there will be a flip through, hopefully in the near future. Until then, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> I like doing the twinkly fingers. I don't know if it really does anything. Do you guys care? Yeah. But <laughs> it cracks me up. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.